In this video, we will demonstrate how to connect a 5700 transmitter with a Wi-Fi display enabled using Micromotion's ProLink software. The 5700 Wi-Fi transmitter facilitates point-to-point -point wireless communication that can allow you to configure and characterize your meter without a physical connection. Using the 5700 Micromotion transmitter with Wi-Fi will allow you to connect your Coriolis meter up to 115 feet away from your device. Once connected, you'll be able to update configuration, run diagnostics, and download historical files without the need of a hot work permit or special equipment. This is especially important for devices installed in difficult to reach locations to ensure that work is done safely and efficiently. After powering on your transmitter, check the Wi-Fi LED on the display of the transmitter under the status LED. If the Wi-Fi LED is off, Wi-Fi will need to be enabled in the device before proceeding. Enable the Wi-Fi by selecting Menu, Wi-Fi Settings, Wi-Fi Communication, Enabled. You should now see the blue status light on your 5700 display. From here, you will need to view the Wi-Fi information needed to connect to the device. The Service Set ID, or SSID, which is the network name you will search for on your device. The Pre-Shared Key, or PSK, is a password used when connecting to the network on your device. And the Admin, or Operator Password, which we will use when opening ProLink. All three of these are set up initially in your 5700 as factory defaults that are unique to your device. They can be changed through the display and through ProLink software. To find the SSID, we select Wi-Fi settings, network settings, SSID. Once selected, the full SSID can be seen in the upper left-hand corner for easy reference. This can be changed if needed using the directional arrows on the display of the transmitter. Next, find and record the pre-shared key by going back to the Wi-Fi settings. Update your key by using the directional arrows if needed. The admin and operator passwords can be accessed by going back to the Wi-Fi settings screen and scrolling down to admin password or operator password. Use admin password for users who need to read and write and operator password for users who only need to view. Once selected, the full password can be seen in the upper left-hand corner. And again, these can be edited with the directional arrows. Now that we have the password, SSID, and PSK, we are ready to connect to the transmitter using a device. Here, we will be connecting using a PC, but you can also connect using ProLink for iOS and Android tablets. Select the Wi-Fi settings and find the SSID. Use the PSK password to connect to the device. The Wi-Fi status blue LED should blink to indicate that Wi-Fi is active and we are connected. The next step is to launch Micromotion's ProLink software. If you don't already have ProLink, a free version can be downloaded from the Emerson website. A professional version of ProLink is also available, which allows for more advanced configuration options. When launching ProLink, select Wi-Fi Display on Device as your connection parameter. Then select the user as either admin or operator, depending on which password you're using, and enter the password.
Now we are fully connected to the meter through ProLink. With Micromotion's ProLink software, you can gain valuable insight into your process. View and update configuration. View and acknowledge any alerts. Run and view smart meter verification and schedule future meter verification runs. and download historical device information. Also, any of the Wi-Fi settings can be changed from inside ProLink. Now you're ready to connect to your 5700 Wi-Fi enabled display. If needed, both the ProLink manual and 5700 manual with configuration and use instructions can be found at emerson.com.